I think we can chalk this one up to ego as well. The Italian anti-mafia police, they're a separate force, an elite group, that must be the one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, has arrested Edgardo Greco, 63. He was a mafioso who took off. They arrested him in France where he was working under the alias Paolo Dimitrio as a pizziaola, a pizza chef, at the Cafe Rosini Italian restaurant. Greco was convicted in absentia in 1991 for the demo homicide of two brothers, Stefano and Giuseppe Bartolomo. He beat them to death over a series of days with iron bars, and then he dissolved their body in acid. Jeez. Uh, he was convicted also of uh, attempting to murder, plotting to murder prison officials. Police closed in on this clown after he was featured in a very large French newspaper the restaurant he was working at posted its official Facebook page with photos and photos of this guy. Journalist and author Roberto Savano. He's been living under police protection, which is horrible, since his book Gomorrah was published in 2006. Uh, that's a sign of a sick society when writers have to hide. Uh, he told uh, newspapers that it's not, and he's right, that it's not uncommon for mafia bosses to just crave attention. It's typical, he said. Look at El Chapo, who, when he was wanted throughout the world, met with Sean Penn because he wanted to make a movie about him. Penn wanted to make a movie about El Chapo. And Al Capone wanted to go on the movie instead of Scarface, the original Scarface. So anyway, they've got this guy. One by one, they're knocking these guys down because they're getting older, they're running out of cash. A lot of them went on the run in 